Hi everyone, it's Kay here. Thank you very much for joining me today. I'm going to show you my finished paper bag journal. Um, <clears throat> this is my first time ever making one of this and I did use Natasha's treasure bookmaking book to help me with some things. Um, but I couldn't do the closure that she suggested for the paper bag journal that she used because I don't have any of that sort of stuff in my house. So I just used what I had in my stash. Don't need to buy any more stuff. <laughs> Uh, so I've added a little bit of a dangle here and the closure I, I tried something that, like Natasha showed in her um, in her book but I could, it didn't work so I've just used a, a what are they called, document folder what do they call these things? I never remember one of these things <laughs> and I've got this image here and I've got the lace all the way around added a key and I cut and I showed this in a previous um, op shop find and I cut the roses out and they look perfect on this little particular journal so I didn't know what to do with this and I actually left it the way it was because I figured that the person who wants the journal could use it for whatever they wanted to really so there's a little bit of a journaling card there It's sort of like um, Regency with a little bit of sewing stuff thrown in, not much. Some decorated lace on the side. Tack spot. This is from a, um, a digital, I can't remember what it's called, it was just called Lace, lace Pages. And there's a little tack spot there. And one here, there's a pocket there. Come on down. <laughs> no, I think every time I show you something, there's something that needs fixing. Let's bling on there to sort of make it look a bit pretty. But I've got to leave that out so to dry. Some pretty lace on the bottom. Plain paper pages as well. I am denied about putting some extra things on the side, but I didn't in the end. I did some, some though, some lace. Lots of pages. Blank, journaling card. A decorated pocket. And done. I had a bit of trouble. I sewed this in upside down. Would you believe? And then I didn't check to see what was in the way because I've got a terrible tendency to do everything and then sew it in, which I, I think most people sew it in and then do everything. So I need to fix that up as well. So I put that there as well. It's a card. I f figured it fitted in quite nicely with the colours and everything. And this is just a lift up like that. Stamperia paper, um, rose puff film, I think it is. And a tuck spot with a tag. And this is more of that Stamperia paper. And I had some vintage um, threads given to me, so I, I scanned the label, the packaging to use. So I did that there, and this is given to me by Ruth. Thank you, Ruth. And there's another tag from some more Stamperia paper. This is from the internet, I think this is from Pinterest, one of those freebies you can get from Pinterest sometimes. Another tag. And there's another one of those um, embroidery silk. This time I, I scanned, so you can see the silk underneath. There's a little bit of a writing pad there. This is just a, it's glued on, but it's got a little dangle here with a pair of scissors. This is glued in, glued, glued at the top, just a bit of a lace cluster. And this is just another journaling card, pretty lace at the top. Given to me by Judith. Thank you, Judith. A little tuck spot here, there, and there. 
another tuck spot, another. And this one has got some things on the back, a little pocket there. Lots of roses and, like I said, more than anything else really. <laughs> I just use what I have in my stash really and um, try and use up things so I've got my stash and because I cut the pockets the way I did I've got some things in this little pocket here some things like this this is left over from the Rose Parfum Stamp Period Collection this is something that was in my stash I just thought that they could go in there they can be used as belly bands or tuck spots or what, bookmarks whatever and then the back I've got a big journaling card and just a piece of paper left over as well just to pop, pop that in there. Very short journal. I had so much fun making this. It was um, a bit of a challenge because I've never done anything like this before. So I, I like to challenge myself every now and again and I'm really pleased with the way it turned out. I'm not sure about the, the handle but I need to hold it up. It looks really good. Do it tighter, tighter than that. So it looks a little bit like a handbag. I suppose you should probably should do it that way, but I did the journal that way because that's the way the journal is going to go. Anyway, thank you very much for joining me, and I'm glad I challenged myself to do that today, um, in between doing Junk Journal of July and other things. So oh, I just knew that was going to fall off. Um, anyway, thank you so much for joining me. Please take care, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.